Volunteers all across the country, every in every community all across the country, in all 50 states, are making phone calls, knocking on doors, and organizing in their communities. And that's how we're going to win, not just in Iowa and New Hampshire, but in Super Tuesday states like Texas and across the country. Yeah. It's important that we all get on the same page about what the national strategy is, because you, all of you, are the campaign. There's nothing outside of the people in this room and other volunteers all across the country. We don't have billionaires. We don't have super PACs on our side. There's just us. So it's really important that we all be on the same page about the national strategy. Um, we've gone from being a total long shot that everyone wrote off to being a political revolution that has literally got the billionaire back candidates trembling in their boots. They are totally freaking out right now. Yeah! That is because of people just like you who are doing the work that wins elections and changing the game in American politics. As you know, it all starts in the early states, in Iowa and New Hampshire. When Bernie wins in Iowa and New Hampshire, two really important things are going to happen. The first is all of those people who are with Bernie on the issues, but don't think that he can win, are going to realize that he's the front runner and that the campaign is that the, that the nomination is within his grasp. Who here knows somebody? I just want to get a show of hands. Who here knows somebody who's like, I totally love Bernie, but there's no way he can win, so I'm not going to. Right? Right? Those people, after Bernie wins in Iowa and New Hampshire, you're going to be like, oh yeah, I was with Bernie from the very beginning. Like, it's gonna be, and, and, and it's going to be amazing. It's going to be amazing because they're going to come pouring into the campaign and they're going to start doing the work just like you're doing. We're going to get this huge new surge of Bernie supporters who are fresh and ready to get to work. The second thing that's going to happen after Bernie wins in Iowa and New Hampshire is the media, who have been ignoring our campaign, are going to suddenly perk up and realize, Bernie is the front runner, and we have to treat him that way. Yeah. And all of the new exposure that he's going to get is going to mean that people all across the country who've literally never heard of Bernie Sanders are going to hear his message for the very first time. And when people hear Bernie's message, what do you think they're going to do? Yeah, they're going to want to support him, because when people hear Bernie's message, they're like, that guy should be the president. Yeah. Man. So we're going to get this huge new influx of people. The floodgates are literally going to open, and people are going to come pouring into the campaign. And that's where we come in. On March 1st, 11 states, including Texas, it's called Super Tuesday, all vote at the same time. Um, and we're going to have, use all of that momentum to go into Super Tuesday and win. And we need to be ready in Texas when we win in Iowa, because we're going to get the baton at that point, and we have to take it across the finish line. Right. So that's why it's so important to win in these early states, because we get this giant surge in momentum. And here's the deal on why we're winning in New Hampshire and how we're neck and neck in Iowa. It's entirely due to our small dollar contributions, over two million of them, all of ours, that have given the campaign the resources to somehow take on the billionaires toe for toe. How many people in this room have pitched in money to the campaign? Just raise your hands. Woo! Yeah! Yeah! Okay, okay. And put your hands back up if that was your first donation to a political candidate ever. Yeah, me too! Wasn't it awesome? That's amazing! So this is really important to understand. We're at the top of the polls in Iowa and New Hampshire because we're talking to all the voters there. We have our huge field staff and huge volunteer base that you helped pay for is going door to door, making phone calls, and talking to everyone on the ground in those states. And of course, when they hear Bernie's message, they want to vote for him. That's why we're surging in the polls there. And because of that, Millions of dollars in advertisements, which are, you know, blasting the airwaves that are being paid for by billionaires and super PACs, aren't even making a dent in Bernie's momentum. It's amazing. Um, so what this tells us is that if we talk to all the voters, we can win. Um, that makes sense because, again, when people hear Bernie's message, they're like, you should be the president. It just makes sense. Um, so in Texas... The way that we're building this, this national, this, this voter contact machine is on January 31st, the day before the Iowa caucuses, that's next Sunday, we're holding a massive statewide day of action where people all across the state are going to attend phone banking parties and make phone calls to other Texans for Bernie. Now, we held one of these days of action on January 10th, and more than 600 people calling all across the state simultaneously made more than 200,000 phone calls, which we believe it was probably the largest single day of phone calling in Texas political history. Like, we literally broke all the records and made history. But this time it's going to be even bigger. It's going to be even bigger. And we need all of you to be a part of it. I want everyone in this room to be making phone calls on January 31st next Sunday. So that's our strategy. Talk to all the voters, win in the early states, 
and use that huge surge of momentum to quench the nomination later. Um, and if we do that, it means that we'll have a real shot at winning this thing. Um, so we're building this massive voter contact machine. This is the centerpiece of the campaign. And it's composed of us, volunteers just like us, our cell phones, our laptops, the Wi-Fi and the places that we hold phone banks. Um, and we are going to use that machine, and we're, it's, a, it's truly a national machine, and we're going to point it at different states and pour calls into those states as their elections come up, right? So right now, people all over the country are calling into Iowa. Um, Texans are calling Texans, but people all over the country are calling into Iowa and doing New Hampshire. But what do you think Iowans are going to do after the caucuses? You got it. They're going to call into March 1st states like Texas. And then once, once Texas votes on March 1st, we're going to keep going, and we're going to call into other states that vote after Texas does, because this is a national voter contact machine, and the bigger it gets, the more that we can win in states across the country. So it's really simple, actually, what we do. They're called voter ID calls, right? This is sort of this you know, political buzzword. But it's really simple. It just means you call the voter, and you ask them who they're voting for. And if they're voting for Bernie, what do you think we do? Yes, we make sure that they go to the polls and we ask some of them to volunteer just like we're doing. If they're undecided, we have someone locally go knock on their door and persuade them to vote um, and vote for Bernie. Um, and if they're voting, definitely voting for another candidate, we just leave them alone and we focus our energy on the people who can get to the polls for Bernie. It's really simple. Um, so that's why we need all of you in this room to step up today and sign up to be the point person to host a phone banking party at your house at a local cafe, at a library, somewhere in your community, and organize other Bernie supporters to attend and make phone calls. And we need to do this all the time between now and the election. Um, it sounds like a lot, but it's actually really, really easy and really fun. So I'm gonna answer some questions that we hear a lot about this. So we're gonna ask you in a little bit to create phone banking events, right? And once you do, we're gonna post them at map.berniesanders.com. Once they're there, they're public on the web and other people can sign up for them. Um, we're also going to have people in this room sign up to attend your phone banking party so that you have a crew to phone bank with you. Um, in a moment, uh, we're going to ask you to fill out these, these creation forms to make your phone banking party. Uh, we have a team of volunteers that will be uh, in the back who can answer any questions that you have. Um, and make sure that you get your phone bank party created uh, and that, that you don't run into any hurdles. Um, you don't have to worry about your house getting, getting flooded with volunteers. This is something we hear a lot. You can set a capacity limit so that we won't send you any more people than you're able to handle. Um, once, we, once we add your phone banking party to the system, you'll get an email um, in your inbox, and you're going to get it tonight, because we're going to create all your phone banking parties tonight, um, that has a detailed guide to how to host a phone banking party, that has an invitation to a webinar, that has a training video, absolutely everything that you need to hold a successful phone banking party, even if you've never made a phone call for a political campaign in the past. Um, and you really just don't have to be intimidated. Most people who host these parties start preparing like literally 10 minutes before people show up, and they do just fine. It gets super, super easy. It could not be easier. Um, we, you know, we encourage you to like make a few phone calls before your party, but you can totally wing it. It's fine. It's really easy. Um, to hold the party, all that you need is, is Wi-Fi that people can log on to and space to hold the party in. Um, people, your, your attendees are going to bring a laptop and a cell phone. Um, and they can log into our web-based dialing, which will connect them to voter after voter after voter and allows them to make hundreds of phone calls that night. Um, okay, so enough of these details. Yes. yes, 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 yes. And we're gonna take we're gonna take uh, questions in a little bit. Um, but yes. Um, BernieSanders.com slash phone bank. And you'll be able to do it. Um, okay, so enough of these details. We're going to walk you through everything, and there's going to be volunteers in the back who can answer all of your questions. Um, how are folks feeling? <laughs> all right, all right, all right. We're going to do. Everyone, stand up for just a second. Everyone, stand up for just a second. We're going to do. We're going to do something together. Um, it's going to get the energy up in the room before we all volunteer.